all have this intense desire to love and to be loved. Often doesn't it seem cruel that God would give us all these desires and longings so early in this phase of our lives? When marriage is so far away and when they cannot be acted on at this age? I'm Carlton D'Souza from MFC India and I'm here to solve this dilemma. To begin with, let us understand that this desire and longing was primarily placed in our hearts by God to be directed towards Him and so will only be satisfied when we do. If properly directed, they become good and holy and in turn, we are able to love the people around us in a way that God would want us to with dignity and respect. Rather than suppressing these desires and feelings or being fearful and ashamed of them, God is calling us to look inwardly, to examine and understand them, to see what they reveal about ourselves. What is it that I desire? Do I desire to be seen, heard or loved? Why do I experience these? How am I responding to this desire to be seen, heard and loved? If you are someone who identifies with this yearning, how can we begin to channelize our desires in a way we can love the people around us with dignity and respect? Practically, we can begin by Number one, let God in. Let Him know of your aches and desires. Ask Him to purify them and let Him transform you through them. Number two, ask Our Lady and her most chaste spouse, Saint Joseph, for their powerful intercession. There hasn't been any man or woman who has lived lives as chaste as they have. They know exactly how we feel and long to help us. Number three, choose to be in the company of friends who will help you cultivate the virtues of prudence, courage and chastity. We too are called to be those friends who help them set high standards for themselves. Number four, avoid relationships, places and situations in which you are likely to fall. The fifth point, filter the music you listen to, the movies you watch, and the accounts you follow on social media. St. Paul says, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, Think about such things. Number six, seek and listen to the advice of your wisest friends and family members who are committed to journey with you and take you to heaven with them. Number seven, set boundaries. Know and be clear about them with your friends and while you date. If things begin to go too far, don't be afraid to call them out and say no. Last but not the least, cling to the sacraments and go for confession as regularly as you can. Sacraments offer us so much grace in recognizing and being obedient to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. So now that we know how to properly channelize these desires, let us be steadfast in our journey of chastity and holiness. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also don't forget to click the subscribe button below and press the bell icon for future videos like these.